Here we are at Memorial Day weekend, and while it means different things to people, for some it's beaches and barbecues, there is obviously a true meaning of why it's even a holiday to begin with. So joining us now, Deborah Bradbard, Senior Research Associate at Syracuse University's Institute for Veterans and Military Families, IVMF. Thanks so much for joining us, Debbie. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Um, so let's start right off the bat. I mean, what is, for those who may not be familiar, the real true meaning of Memorial Day? Um, thanks for asking. Um, a lot of people get Me Veterans Day and Memorial Day confused, but Memorial Day is actually a time to um, honor those who have been lost um, as a result of their service to country, whereas Veterans Day is just a time to honor um, those who are serving our country. So they're slightly different, um, but Memorial Day is actually to memorialize people. So I know people don't really mean any harm by it, obviously, but you do pe hear people go, Happy Memorial Day. That's really kind of not what you want to wish somebody on that day, right? Yeah, exactly, um, because it is to honor those who have um, sacrificed everything um, in service to country. And so, you know, happy Memorial Day, Day just, you know, sort of um, doesn't, doesn't, isn't the appropriate sentiment for, for the day. What, um, what does it mean for veterans, for families who've lost loved ones, family members, um, somebody that the day obviously has been created for. I mean, what does Memorial Day actually mean to them? Um, I mean, I think it's just a time to um, take a moment to think about um, think about memories you've had with them, um, you know, honor their memory. Um, a lot of times people will use that day to reflect on, um, you know, their relationship with that person. Um, sometimes people will, you know, use that time to visit visit their grave or, um, you know, be involved in community service to honor their service. Um, what would you say, obviously, um, meaningful to to those folks? Um, what would you suggest the pop proper way is to acknowledge um, this holiday, M Memorial Day, um, especially if you're not somebody who has um, a loved one or a friend who's who's passed in service. Sure. I mean, there's not one right way mm -hmm. to to um, honor honor Memorial Day, but you know, a few things that people can do is you know, put a flag up and raise it at half staff. Mm. Um, volunteering to place a wreath. Um, you know, if there's a military or veterans um, cemetery in your area. Um, sometimes there are religious or community services honoring um, fallen fallen veterans or soldiers um, or service members, I should say, um, visiting a war memorial, um, mm. but just teaching your kids or grandchildren um, the meaning of the day and and really what it means to serve serve your country. Obviously, Memorial Day, that that Monday holiday, is is always a great way to do that. But I would imagine. Um, it, you don't just have to contain it to just that day, do you? What do we do maybe other parts of, of the year course. to also acknowledge, um, you know, what these men and women have uh, given uh, for our freedom here in this country? I mean, again, I think just bringing attention to what it means to serve your country, um, you know, that it is a sacrifice. I mean, one thing we always say is, um, you know, just just communicate with the people in your, mm -hmm. in your community that, um, are involved with the military, get to know them, support them, and learn, you know, learn a little bit more about what their life is like. Um, and that's that's probably the biggest thing you can do. But I mean, employers can employ mm. veterans and service members. That's a huge thing that we always mm -hmm. talk about. Um, those are just a few things that you can do. Um. I know for a lot of people, this is a big holiday weekend, long weekend. You have off from work, you have off from school. People are going to do beaches, they're going to do barbecues, they're going to have get togethers. Maybe they don't raise that flag, maybe they don't go to the parade. Is that a problem, or is there kind of a, a middle ground on there? You know, I don't, I don't think there's a right or wrong way to, to um, you know, to honor the holiday. Uh, I think you can do both. I don't think it's one or the other. I think you can honor this, the service of, of um, you know, the, the honor the day of Memorial Day, that, like we've discussed, but you can also celebrate the beginning of summer, go to the beach, have your barbecue at the same time. I don't think it has to be one or the other. 
Deborah Brad Bards, this senior associate from Syracuse University's IVMF. Debbie, thanks so much for being with us, kind of talking us through a lot of that. We really appreciate having you today. Thank you for having me.